Hello guys and welcome back to another Christmas gift guide. Today we are talking about luxury gifts. I'm very excited for this one. If you haven't already seen some of the other gift guides this year, we have six in total. So there are beauty gifts, luxury gifts, which is this one. Um, there are gifts for her under 50 pounds, so kind of more affordable gifts. And then we have a stocking filler gift guide, which is gifts all under 20 pounds. Gifts for the men in your life with Mike, he's joining again this year. Gifts for kids. Um, there's a bit of something for everyone, but today we are talking luxury gifts. So a bit of a disclaimer, if you're not interested in luxury things, that is what this video is all about. I'm just saying that because every year we get people saying that things are too expensive or whatever. So just a heads up, this is a luxury gift guide. There's gonna be some very lovely luxury items in here. However, we're also gonna be giving a lot of them away over on my Instagram. So if you're up for that, if you're up for winning some lovely, like honestly, I'm so excited for the prizes this year, head over to my Instagram to check that out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it because I've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. First of all, for some lovely silk items. I personally think silk, whether it's pajamas or a beautiful classic silk shirt, makes for the most amazing gift. It's one of the things that over the past few years I've had on my Christmas wish list, specifically silk pajamas, because they're such a luxurious thing that often I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself, but to get them as a gift, I'm like, oh, so nice, such an ultimate treat. And I've actually partnered up with Lily Silk for this video. And now I hadn't actually tried anything from Lily Silk before they approached me to work together. However, I've seen a lot of people talk about them. And when the stuff arrived, I was, blown away by the quality because I like you know when you see things online you don't necessarily know like what kind of quality it's going to be the packaging is just beautiful and the quality of the actual items which I'm going to show you in a minute is stunning as well so I have to say not all silk is created equal like I genuinely think a lot of silk items I've had in the past are difficult to care for and don't kind of wash as well. And that's also a really common misconception I think happens a lot is people think that silk is difficult to care for, it's difficult to manage. Um, and actually, if you get really good, beautiful quality natural silk, it's very, very easy to care for. If you take good care of it, it lasts a really long time. It's better for the environment um, because it is a natural fiber. A lot of kind of like faux silk kind of satin fibers are made of plastic essentially. Um, and it's really like an investment into like a staple piece that will last for years. A lot of my silk items I've had for many, many years. I got my first pair of silk pajamas about five years ago. And honestly, I find it hard to go back. Like I wanna wear those pajamas e every night, but obviously I can't. My other pajamas get neglected. It's just like the ultimate luxury. Anyway, so my top picks from Lily Silk. Oh, the other thing is you can get an additional discount. So they already have Black Friday offers going on, but if you want an extra 12% off any, anything on the whole website, you can use my code. I'll pop it on screen now, it's 12 Fleur. Um, for an extra 12% off, so there you go. So first of all, I'm gonna actually show you this shirt, which I'm gonna try them on as well, because showing them on a hanger is never quite um, the same, but this is the sand washed silk shirt, and I love the detail of this. It's a slightly like military style design, but the color is this gorgeous kind of rich, like it's kind of a pale taupe color. I personally, love sand wash silk because it feels super super soft and velvety it's not that classic kind of satin silk finish it is buttery soft it just feels divine to wear it but also has a really gorgeous kind of it's like slightly matte but it still has that like silky sheen to it i love this i think it's such a great wardrobe staple if you are looking for something a little bit more classic like safe bet gift I'd also recommend their SOS shirt. This is an oversized shirt. This is the cream one. Hang on a minute, there we go. So this is the cream color. And I love this one because it's long. I love longer shirts. If you wanna wear them with leather, leather leggings, they can cover your bum. It's got a nice kind of um, rounded back as well. That's another thing I don't like about kind of oversized shirts is when they're too square. I like them to be rounded. I find it's a lot more flattering if they kind of come up the leg on the sides a little bit more. This is just, absolutely gorgeous i love it um and lastly for kind of clothing they also do this incredible sand washed silk jumpsuit 
which is just gorgeous again it's the same um sand wash kind of texture it has that beautiful velvety soft finish but in this gorgeous khaki like deep khaki green i love jumpsuits i think this is like the ultimate jumpsuits are obviously a very like can be very casual and easy to wear item but it's just in this beautiful silk and i just yeah it's stunning and it has this gorgeous elasticated waist but it's still flattering because it has the flat section on the front so it's not like all super elasticated in it's just been very very well designed very very well made and yeah i'm a big fan of that and lastly their silk pajamas they have quite a lot of different options on the website but my personal favorites are these ones which are the oversized silk pajamas and i have to say the shirt is pretty much identical to the sos shirt so you can totally wear this as an item of clothing rather than pajamas as well as pajamas but then it obviously comes with the trousers as well which have the um a drawstring waist just get them off here to show you they have a drawstring waist they're really comfortable it's not too wide a waistband either which i find sometimes can be um uncomfortable and they're just yeah it's got pockets i mean lovely they're just so gorgeous and luxurious and like i said you can get an extra 12 percent off because they already have some offers going on um with my code so next up i'm going to show you some jewelry and obviously those of you who don't know i have my own jewelry brand that's called raven james we launched just over a year ago um and i I'm so excited to show you a couple of the things from our new collection that I think would make amazing gifts this Christmas. There's actually three items, two of which I'm, we I'm wearing at the moment. Um, the first one being the Gabrielle hoops, which look like this. So this whole new collection is called the Casino Collection. It's inspired by kind of 1920s Art Deco, but it's not classically Art Deco looking. It's just a lot of baguette cuts. It's quite like clean and modern and quite different from our previous collections as well. I love these hoops. I'm actually wearing them in pink in my ears now because they are very, very kind of feminine and very sleek design, but they're actually really um, weighty. Like they're lovely. They feel really, really nice to put on and to wear. They're also very, very comfortable to wear because they're not huge hoops. Love those. And I also absolutely adore these. And I think these are a perfect Christmas gift. They just, yeah, they just basically scream Christmas and New Year style. These are the Audrey earrings. So they're a triple drop baguette. Um, these are the ones that are, have white stones, but we also do them in a gorgeous kind of sapphire midnight blue as well, which I really like. And I just think they're very elegant, very, they're kind of statement, but like understated at the same time because they're not big like they are drops but they're not huge and they're also very sleek so it's like a way of wearing a nice kind of dangly earring but it not being like absolutely massive statement and then the other item that i absolutely love is our genie bracelet so this is actually the pink version we also do it in that gorgeous blue as well i'm actually wearing this now so i'm going to show you it on it is up my jumper sleeve um so this is what it looks like on I absolutely adore this and I love that what we've done with the clasp is include our double like um, vintage inspired lobster clasp in a, a smaller version than we do on our necklaces but what this does rather than having a normal clasp is it means that the weight sits at the bottom so I don't know like a lot of my other bracelets I wear the the heavier side which is the bit that you want to see ends up spinning around and sitting at the bottom whereas with this that doesn't happen very often at all because um the clasps are slightly heavier and it just sits like that and it's so beautiful i love it i love this collection um like i said it is available now over on ravenjames.co.uk and we also are doing a couple of offers for black friday which we didn't do last year um so if you are shopping on black friday buying some gifts make sure you head over it's not going to be like a secret code or anything follow us on instagram and you'll be in the first to know basically um another item should i carry on with clothes or should i jump around i'm going to jump around a bit another item that i absolutely love um i couldn't believe it when they sent me this i literally nearly cried with happiness it's so divine um you guys know if you follow me for a while i just showed you a sneak peek then um i love nest 
home fragrances, especially their candles. They are just fantastic. They only recently became available in the UK. Before that, I used to buy them when I went to the States. And it's just genuinely a brand that I have loved for years and been a kind of loyal customer of for years. Um, so I was really excited when they launched in England. And then I found out they do a candle in this size. This is so heavy. I can't even tell you what, I don't even know how much does it, does it have a gram? I don't even think it has a gram. Basically, it's enormous. It's absolutely enormous. And it's in their holiday scent, which is possibly next to Moroccan Amber, which is like their classic. It is my, one of my favorites. It smells, it's like Christmas in a candle. You can buy the normal size of this, by the way. It was in my beauty gift guide. If you're not looking to spend hundreds of pounds on a candle, this is expensive, but can we just look? It's like the same size as my head. Oh my goodness. It smells divine, it's got four wicks. What a gift. If you are buying for a candle lover, and I would say, um, if you are buying for somebody who does love their candles and knows their candles, Nest genuinely, the performance of the Nest candles is better than any other premium candle I've ever used. Like, I still love other candle brands, I still use other candle brands, but in terms of the burn and how evenly they burn, how much scent they kick off, they are really, really incredible. And this one is very expensive, but their normal sized kind of like regular candles are more affordable than the kind of Jo Malone ones or the Diptyque ones, and they are excellent. So um, it's just not that well known a brand in the UK because they haven't been here for a long time, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be giving, I'm gonna be giving some of these away. So make sure you head over to my Instagram. Um, next up, I've got some knitwear to show you all actually. And these aren't, neither of them are particularly premium, but they just come in over that 50 pound bracket. I think the first one is 79 or 69, and then the next one is 65. The first one is from a brand called Never Fully Dressed, which is actually a brand that I have shopped from for a long time. I think I bought my first thing from them in like 2009. Um, anyway, I saw this and I just instantly fell in love with it. This is their bandana jumper. Um, which comes with, it does also have a matching mini skirt, which I ordered, but I sent back because it just didn't suit my figure at all, really. And I didn't feel that kind of comfortable wearing it, but I love the jumper. It's super soft. I like this brand because they, they do kind of affordable fashion, but it's not, um, kind of fast fashion, if that makes sense. They have like real classic kind of staple items and they also have, um, lots of recycled materials, recycled packaging, etc. So um, big fan of this brand and I just absolutely love this. I also really like how it fits. It's kind of slightly oversized. I feel like it would be an easy one to buy as a gift because it's not one of those, some knitwear can be really unflattering. I, I, I really struggle to find like the right kind of cut knitwear for me. So I feel like it's a tricky thing to buy someone else. That one would be, because of the way it fits, I feel like it would be good for most people. Um, they're also really size inclusive. They go, they have a huge size range and they're never fully dressed. The other thing that I, I actually bought this at Spirit of Christmas and it's totally random. It's from a brand called Nicola Sexton um, who normally sells shoes. And I saw the girl on the stand was actually wearing this and it looks so good. I'm gonna have to try it on because you're not gonna be able to see because it's basically a poncho knit. It's not a full poncho, it does have sleeves. It's one size because you can see, I mean, it's it's very, very wide, but when you put it on, it just drapes, and it's just so comfy, easy to wear, genuinely feels like cashmere. I, when we went up on the stand and touched them, I was like, are they cashmere? And she was like, no, no, they're not. Um, they just feel like cashmere, so you can actually wash them, etc. It also has this really nice fringing detail on the bottom, and I feel like 65 pounds, it's a very good price point, but also very, very, like, universal in terms of if you're buying for somebody you're not entirely sure, like, kind of what size they are or like, you know, it's a very safe purchase, I think. Talking of knitted items, this is a bit of a segue sideways. Um, this Burberry scarf, I actually got for Christmas last year, but they, they do them again this year because they must have been popular. It is, it's very loud. If you look at the whole thing, it says Burberry across it and it's very like, wowza, that's branded. But actually when you wear it, because of how big the branding is, you don't really see that. It's two-tone black and kind of beige. It's not, it's like slightly camel, but it's like a cooler tone. I have to say, I got, Mike bought this for me, technically, for Christmas last year. He actually originally bought me the pink 
It was a similar one that was pink and red. And I loved it. I, I, I'd specifically seen it and kind of like dropped a hint. as like, that's what I would like for Christmas. Um, but then I got it and tried it on with a few outfits and stuff and just realized I probably wasn't gonna wear it a lot because it was so bright. I was like, limits with what you like, what you can wear it with, etc. So I ended up swapping it for this one, which at the time I was a bit like, I don't love it, but I feel like I'll probably use it. I wear this so much, like all the time. I love that it is, it's actually quite lightweight as well. It's lightweight and long and skinny. So you just drape it around once like this and it just kind of hangs down. It still keeps you warm, but it's not bulky. I, I find it quite annoying when scarves like make your hair knotty at the back and things like that. It's really not bulky, but just really nice. It goes with most things, despite having like a massive burberry across it. Um, I just feel like it's a real staple for me. I use it a lot um, and I feel like it would make a nice gift. Again, quite safe in terms of colorways and stuff. Might not be everyone's cup of tea with the branding, but I really like it. Next up, some shoes, and I know this is niche, including shoes, but I saw these shoes and I was like, oh my god, they are so beautiful, and they would make such a gorgeous Christmas gift. They're so Christmassy. They are from this brand that I think is pronounced Loffler Randall, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. It's an American brand, I think. Anyway, I've seen these shoes before in various different colours. They also do them in gold, but they don't currently have them available in the UK, I don't think. But... Can we just take a moment for these? They're like a present in a shoe. They're so pretty. I feel like they would look so gorgeous with a little black dress. That one's actually still got the tissue on it. Let me show you. So gorgeous. You can get them on Netaporte. I actually got these when they had some kind of discount going on um, and these were included. So I'm sure these will be included in their Black Friday discounts if they're still in stock by the time that comes around. But um, just so gorgeous, love those. I think they would make such a nice, they're such like a, a cute and like festive gift. So next up I've actually got two gifts from the same brand um, and it is from Loewe. I love this brand because they are, they're, they're really popular now. They weren't maybe like five or six years ago, they weren't super popular. Obviously they kind of came back with their puzzle bag and the gate bag and got really popular again. But I love their branding, they're kind of, an understated brand in that sense, like the opposite of that Burberry scarf. A lot of their items are quite low key in terms of the branding, but the actual design is really, really recognizable. Anyway, um, the first thing I've got is a brooch. And I love, I also love, and this is why I love the brooch, I love their symbol because it isn't, doesn't say Loewe, it's just their kind of design like this, their logo. If you know, I'm gonna cover my face up before it will focus on this. Um, no, still wants to focus on my hand. There we go, you can see it. Anyway, so the first thing um, I love from them is this classic brooch, which I think is so gorgeous. I think it would look so nice on a, um, on a plain black coat. It's very detailed in a way, but also very simple because it's essentially like looped like a piece of metal looped rather than it being kind of um, super, super detailed or having any kind of beading or, you know, diamante encrusted or whatever that you would expect to find from like Chanel or whoever. I really like that. I think it's a very classic gift. And the other thing I really like is a belt from them because I feel like obviously the Gucci logo belt is super, super popular. The Celine one is similar to this in the vein of like, it's a little bit more subtle than the Gucci one and the Valentino one that are quite loud. But I just really like this. Again, I think it's a real classic staple and I feel like it would make such a nice gift. It's actually still got the plastic on the buckle. Let me just take that off. So this is the belt from Weve. It's actually not reversible, which I think is a real shame because they could have made this reversible easily because it's it's got this gorgeous tan leather on the inside. Um, they could have made it reversible very easily and they didn't and I'm not entirely sure why but very very gorgeous and it's an okay price point for a belt as well I think some belts can get out of control expensive like there's a belt that I wanted I think it's an Alexander McQueen one and it was nearly a thousand pounds for a belt I'm like that's just crazy um, whereas I think this is like I, I'm, I'm not adverse to spending a lot of money on small leather goods like belts but I feel like there's there's a limit for me on how much I would spend on a belt because they do get worn if you wear them a lot. Um, but I think that's that would just make such a nice gift. And the, 
the gift packaging for this brand is just insane it's gorgeous next up talking of small leather goods i always include a kind of wallet type gift um at christmas because i think it is a classic gift and i think it's something that a lot of people like don't buy themselves a wallet and kind of would wait for like an opportunity like christmas to to like be given a wallet or ask for a wallet or whatever anyway i spotted this and fell in love with it i think it's so cute it is from fendi and i just thought this was very cute now i am a big fan of key holder wallets i have a chanel key holder wallet that i've used for years and years and years and i find them really handy i also love these little kind of zip card holders i'm not a big fan of the big wallet so when i saw this i just thought it's absolutely perfect it's got the fendi like iconic fendi um mono is it a monogram i don't know um print on the front and then it is red on the back which i also like and it's also very cute and festive but not too festive that you can't use it all, all year round but you know what i mean it's like a little christmasy hint it has the zip pouch so you can keep coins or cash or whatever like earrings that fall out or <laughs> whatever you want and then it has the card slots in the back and it also has the key ring attachment here so you can either put your house keys on this and then put your house keys in the pouch and just so they don't scratch the inside of your handbag or you could have your car key on it or you could attach it to your whole bunch of keys as a key ring whatever you want it's just quite versatile and i really liked it the price point i think it's 310 so obviously expensive it's fendi but in terms of it's quite a classic item i thought it was quite good in terms of value for money for that um and then i also have another fendi item I've actually got two handbags to talk about in this video and I'm going to talk about the more affordable one first which is from Cezanne and my goodness this it smells so good um this is the bucket bag from Cezanne they actually do it in a smaller size as well um but honestly I love Cezanne as a brand I love their design I love the quality of their clothing and their bags are super nice I think this is a really classic gift they also do this in a smaller size which this one for me personally i'm quite petite and having a bucket bag in this size is probably a little bit too big i'd prefer like a tote but such a lovely gift if you're buying for a smaller like stature person i'd say maybe go for the mini version but if you're taller this would be fantastic i got this one because i love the croc finish as well but they also do a like a woven version so stunning and i feel like very practical bags as well they wear really nicely i've got a couple of different Cezanne leather pieces and they're all very very well made and a really good price point as well if you don't want to go for that super high-end designer bag but you want something that's beautiful and good quality and will last for a really long time Cezanne is a really good option and lastly every year i include a, my kind of designer handbag pick of the year um, and every year, pretty much, I give it away. I'm going to be doing that with this bag as well. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Um, my, I actually struggled with picking um, what bag to include this year because there haven't been that many that caught my eye. And generally, over the past few years, I've really only bought um, vintage bags. I've got really, really into vintage bags. But this year, I recently fell in love with this bag um it is a fendi baguette it's not the classic baguette but it is a baguette um baguette this year was celebrating i think 25 years so it is i feel like it's a style that's come in and out of popularity over the past 25 years but it has been a constant and always been there and i think this specific design which is i mean the packaging is just gorgeous as well this specific design which is the the mini baguette um i think is really wearable and perfect for like everyday use whereas the classic one with the shorter strap i think is more of a kind of evening bag or an event bag this is so so versatile so wearable I just think it's a really good investment purchase as well because um it's it's been around and popular for that long that it's it's not going anywhere anyway so this is the bag in question it is the classic fendi print canvas um mini baguette bag so it has the crossbody strap so you can wear it crossbody these are both removable as well which is a fantastic feature because 
you can wear it crossbody with or without this as like an extra piece. I prefer to leave it on. You can take the long strap off and have it as a little handheld or like over your arm or you can take both of them off and have it as a clutch as well. So it's really versatile and it is quite small, um, but because it's made of canvas, it's very malleable in the sense of, you know, you can, you can stretch it out a little bit, it can change shape easily and you're not worried that it's gonna kind of misshape the leather, if that makes sense, which I always worry about with leather bags. Price point wise, it's 1,750. So it's a Fendi bag, it's not gonna be, affordable but it's more entry level for Fendi um, and surprisingly as well with the colorway and I think one of the reasons why I never kind of looked at Fendi that much in the past is because I never really wear brown but with this it actually has black stitching around the edge which makes it a lot more wearable with black or brown or camel or whatever color you want to wear it with it actually is quite um, easy to style with different things the other thing I'll probably get asked is can you fit an iPhone I've got one of the Max iPhones and it fits like with more than enough space in there. I can fit my wallet, keys, lipstick and phone all in here. And it is, it's a teeny, teeny bag, um, but it's quite roomy for a small bag. Anyway, that's my top pick designer handbag this year. I think it's super cute, but also very, very versatile. And I'm going to be giving one away. I'm actually going to be giving away one in a color of your choice as well. So whoever wins this doesn't have to pick this color if this is not your bag. That pun not intended, but goes quite well. Um, this would be what I would choose and that's why I'm featuring it in the video, but you can pick whatever color you like. Um, they have leather ones, they have black leather, I think they have beige leather, they have all sorts of crazy like lime green and stuff. So head over to my Instagram if you would like to be in with a chance of winning a Fendi baguette. Um, and that is it for my luxury gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope if you're searching for some gifts for your loved ones, it has helped out. Or if you're just having a look and wanna see some beautiful things, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.